Hi everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk and in this video we're going to be talking about the 100% CP usage from the SVC host.exe file. Now, there's two types that cause 100% CP usage. One of them is nothing to do with what we're going to be talking about, which is malware and spyware. That's another thing. That's something else that does that to your CPU and drives it right through the roof and you can't use your computer properly and you get a picture like this in front of you where it maxes it out. We're talking about uh, the actual host file, which is like this. So we're going to be talking about this sort of type of thing that's happening. And one of these SVC host files or server host files, service host files that are actually running 100%. Now, how can we look inside this file? How can we tell what's causing it and what is actually running at that speed? And what, and, you know, and basically how to look in there? Because all you can see is the name of it and the PID number and the username which is down here and the CPU part and the memory well I'm going to show you two ways, two methods to do that now the first one is the more long winded approach but you may want to do it now you can't do this unless you actually CM, type CMD and then go to command prompt now you can't be using this technique to look unless you've got tasklist.exe now that only comes with XP Pro now I'm going to leave a link for you to actually download the program to add it, put it into your system 32 file and then you will have task list on XP home it doesn't come with it so anyway the first thing you need to do is as I said is type task list like so and then up comes this um, window there and this gives us all the actual processes Now this is exactly the same as what you're looking at it doesn't really tell you much so we want to actually look inside the actual service host file so what do we do so we type, type task list uh, space forward slash uh, SVC like so and this is now going to give us all the services okay uh, of what's going on so now we can see all the services but I just want to tidy this up a little bit and just have a look at the service host part and not all the rest of this stuff so let's uh, go into um, uh, task list like so space forward slash SVC space forward slash FI space uh, speech mark image name like so space EQ space uh, service uh, SVC SVC host dot exe like so and then push enter and this will now give us just the actual um, service host area so we can actually see what's going on now if you can see uh, the service SVC host or service uh, host file uh, one PID number 1032 there now basically this is giving us a load of areas where to look you can see all the, all the services that are actually running now say for instance uh, see you've got WZC uh, SVC which is obviously the win uh, wireless thing and you've also got this one here WAUSERV you want to familiarize yourself with a lot of these uh, services because now you know where they are and then it will give you a good idea of how to troubleshoot in the future so for argument's sake say for instance it, it was this one here this WAUSERV okay what you need to do now is once you've found that area you can actually go to start control panel administration tools services and then basically come down to because uh, I know what it is because I've gone right through all these and I know exactly what they are so uh, uh, automatic updates right click properties and there you have it W A U S E R V that's the name of the actual service so now you know what they are you start to get an idea once you use them more often now if this was the one that was causing it which normally it does uh, a lot of the time you can actually disable this update like so just so it, and see if it goes away and then apply an OK and see if the actual problem uh, rectifies if it does then you know you need to get the service pack update so then you can actually download those manually rather than doing the actual update through Windows and actually bypass that now if you've got say service pack 1 on and you just want and you don't want to do that you may obviously you can't just delete the update file you may be able to try to uh, overwrite it or something and see if that fixes it or fix it in that sort of manner but to be honest these normally tend to be Windows files and if they are Windows files there's not a lot you can do with them apart from 
update the fix what uh, Microsoft actually uh, give you so bearing in mind that is just one area that's just the Windows automatic updates and I know that's a common one that actually causes a problem and they've actually brought a fix out for it now so anyway that's that method of finding its way to that area that's say for instance you wanted to have a look at the DLL files what you could do task um, task list space forward slash M and that would uh, bring up the modules like so and then basically if you look in here and you'll see we're looking for the actual module area and it will tell you basically all the DLL files that are used for that area okay so there's another little is a ton of little things that this uh, thing can do so look basically that there's one there this is it this is all the DLL files in that in that area that we was looking at that's running and and actually uh, that, that could be a problem with so you would ne you could try to diagnose it but it'll be so difficult okay so if you want to have a little look around on that task list there's a ton of uh, commands you can actually do if you have a look around uh, task list space forward slash uh, question mark this will give you a few and tell you basically what you can use it for as you can see it says status image name PID session uh, session name CPU time is a load of other little bits and pieces in there okay but I'm not going to get bogged down in it maybe I'll do a tutorial on it and cover all these other commands and go through it a little bit okay so what else can you do a more easier way if you don't want to do it that way well there is an answer to it there is an actual place where you can get it from Microsoft website and it's called uh, process XP or X process explorer which is this um, it's made by uh, this company here and it's going through Microsoft so if you come in here and open this up now this is a Windows virtual machine so there isn't much going on so, but basically as you can see it gives you the actual PID number and now if I write if I just double click on this now it will tell you uh, inside here let's have a little look there's a load of other little bits and pieces it tells you the security TCP IP all sorts of other little stuff but the main thing is really as I said um, you, you can actually kill the process from here as well uh, if you wanted to you could debug it there's a there's a few other bits and pieces you can do let's have a little look uh, there was a PID number that it gives you there it is so this is the actual place where this resides where that file resides and this is where it is the command line and if you look there um, this is the actual PID number for the service it's different to this one as you can see it's 1716 this is actually 1032 the actual file is inside of this uh, service host file um, so there you go so give this little program a go maybe we'll do a tutorial just on this program as well because this has got a load of goodies on it as well uh, so th the way to fix that problem is basically as I said go to the Windows uh, and download the latest service packs and that will fix a lot of the uh, memory leaks and buggy programs or problems with those 100% CPU um, problem there okay my name is Brian from Brightech.co.uk thanks very much for watching I'll be making some more tutorials or videos in the future please leave your comments if you have any and if you want to message me with a message please do so and please subscribe to my channel thanks very much bye for now